In recent days, some media reported claims from salmon farming critics that Browns Bay packing continues to produce wastewater that is bloody and red, and that nothing has been done since the issue first came to light two years ago in 2017. These reports are simply just not true, and they're misleading. Quite different from doing nothing is the fact that over the last two years we've invested $1.5 million to build a new wastewater plant from the ground up. We work with mechanical and chemical engineers to push the envelope and put in place technology to meet and exceed the new tough standards set by the BC Ministry of Environment. Our new equipment arrived in the spring of 2019 and on May 1st we fired it up. Since that time our system has been operational. We've added automation and we continue to put the equipment through its paces to maximize its performance. We're in the final phase of automation. It's important to understand that our wastewater is a combination of washdown water for processing, blood water from harvesting, and rainwater. All liquid is captured regardless of its source and transferred to our water treatment system. It's also important to understand that on a daily basis, blood water from harvest represents only 15 to 18 percent of the total liquid that is directed for treatment. By the time the effluent has completed its journey through four stages of our system, all microproteins and blood will be removed and the effluent disinfected. The bottles shown in the photo capture the effluent prior to treatment, the effluent in the middle stages of treatment, and importantly, the bottle on the far right displays the final product prior to discharge. At the point of discharge, what remains, as the video shows, is a fairly clear liquid that resembles lemonade. Not pink lemonade or red, but slightly yellow. At this point, the treated effluent enters our outfall pipe. We felt it was important to share with the public not only what our treated effluent looks like at the top of the pipe, but what it currently looks like at the end of pipe. 91 meters from shore and 26 meters deep. Our system under normal operation produces a flow rate of 7 to 9 liters per second. The effluent at 26 meters deep looks gray because of the lower light conditions that far under the water. On the left, what we are seeing is the footage that was misrepresented as current through inaccurate reporting. And on the right, this is our operation today, straight up with no fancy filters or editing. At low flow rates, which occurs periodically throughout the day, the effluent barely reaches the end of the pipe, as most of the effluent is discharged through the diffuser ports on the side of the pipe. As the video depicts, the influence of natural light moves the effluent to a color that is lighter. The video also captures the abundance of sea life and condition on the ocean floor. As our permit requires, we monitor this frequently, and since 1989, the monitoring that we have completed has concluded that we have no lasting impact on our surroundings. At Browns Bay Packing, we share activist passion for wild salmon and we would not be doing this if we thought it were harming them. It is unfortunate there is so much misinformation out there about salmon farming and by extension, processing farm salmon. We are all better served by working together responsibly to feed a hungry world while protecting our ocean environment and the fish who call it home.